I'm working on this tri light. I got the bulbs replaced and went and put it back up on the mast and only the anchor lights lighting up. So I'm pretty sure by this prong being pretty much dead, that's what's causing it. All right, that looks pathetic. It doesn't look great. We're gonna try it out and see what happens. So this may work, it may work intermittently. <laughs> oh, we got lights. Yeah. Oop, and we got a no, that one anchor did. light. That was good. When Sean heads up the mast to replace our tri light, he'll also be replacing our radio antenna. <sighs> Can you hear it? It's getting caught up in there. All right, we finally got that. Yay, fished through. Okay, so we got extra cable. Sean's up there hooking up the antenna. It was so exhausting even I'm shaking all right so we know we know we should have attached the new wire to the old wire and pulled it down through but we didn't do that we messed up but since we didn't do that we did take the old wire off of the antenna and attached it to our new cable and so it would weight it not only did it weight it because we were having an issue it was getting caught I could hear it bouncing around right in this general area where we've got rivets and screws and the boom and all kind of attachments um, it was getting caught right there it wouldn't go any further but because this has a good extra like foot or two it was able to go down to the bottom where I could fish it out with a metal hanger there's no tool like a metal hanger Sean removed the old rusted bus bar and isolated the circuits so that we could identify all of the wires correctly. This jumble of wires includes wires that come down the mast from the lights up above and then the red and green bundle is going to be the wires that go up the compression post from below deck. So now we have to merge them all together to make them happy so they'll work at switches. <laughs> Now that we are about to leave the marina and our unlimited access to shore power, it's time to ensure the generator is fully operational. <laughs> no, you don't want to end up like that guy. So yeah, my main concern is just monitoring, making sure the exhaust doesn't leak. I got a temp gun, I'm going to be making sure that, you know, checking the temperature in here. 
Mm-hmm. I got the AC on, so it's not going to get hot. I just want to see how hot this gets. Fuel line is going to go in. Exhaust line is coming out from the generator. We're going to fire up the Ginny and see how it goes. Running generator. All right. Generator hasn't gone well. We started it and everything looked like it was okay. Now there's smoke in the engine room and everything smells like fire. So we had to cut it off and figure out what's going on with that. So it's just one of those days where <laughs> nothing turns out right. After all that work with the generator, and this is what happened. We pulled her out the boat and we're gonna get rid of it and get a different generator. It was just much too loud. It was louder than I think it was supposed to be and we were having issues with exhausting it. So I'm gonna try something different. When we got gone with the wind, um, we had safety lines up in stanchions, but they were in pretty bad shape, really rusted and beat up. So we found out that you pretty much have two options. You can take your old safety lines to like a rigger and basically have them match up the length and then replace all the parts and get you the new line. Or you can do it the way that we're gonna do it, which is completely replace them. Um, we've got a little Suncor kit here that we bought online. It's got all of the hardware and accessories that you're gonna need in order to put up new safety lines. And it also includes, of course, cable that you'll need for that as well. You kind of just let them know how long your boat is and they cut it accordingly for you. So these are both uh, 40 foot rolls since we're a 36 footer. That'll give us a lot of extra just in case. And let's see, we're gonna go ahead and open up the little case here. Let's see what's inside. Packet of hardware right there. It's gonna be, this is for a gate as well because we have, you know, the sides that we'll wanna get in and out of the safety lines off the side of the boat. So this is for the gate. This is one side, including instructions and a nice little sponge. <laughs> that's pretty much it that's in there. So it uh, should be pretty simple. There are some tutorials online that you can find. We're gonna get this started. We're gonna install our safety lines. All right, so we're gonna start at the bow of the boat. And I have the long turnbuckle, starting with that one. I'm gonna take out this little round clevis. Uh, there we go. So that I can put the turnbuckle on the front. All right, so we got that attached. That's the first attachment. And um, also you want to loosen these up a fair amount, at least halfway or more so that you can tighten it up later. So make sure you loosen those first. Let's see, I'm gonna get the cable. Now ours is silver. You can also get like a white PVC coating on it. We just got clear. Um, so it did mention that when you put this into your end piece, you don't want the PVC on there. You want to just be making contact with the cable itself. So I'm gonna. A little nervous. <laughs> Feeling pretty defeated right now. We went to install the safety lines, and halfway through, one of the pieces of hardware fell overboard. Of course. And I spent almost, I don't know, an hour outside in the dinghy fishing around trying to find it with a net, but it is so like just mucky and there's so much silt uh, on the, you know, bottom underneath the boat that it just, it disappeared like instantly as soon as it hit the ground and I didn't see where it landed. I just heard a bloop. So it's gone um, and it's going to cost us about $80 with shipping to replace that piece. So not a good day, but... Yeah, just one more thing overboard. <laughs> Thanks for watching Big Easy Sailing. Don't forget to comment below, like the video, and subscribe to our channel. We only have a few projects to finish before we start sailing, so click that bell to get notified when our new videos are released. We love our crew members. A huge thank you goes out, as always, to our crew. Your support means the world to us. 
If you'd like to become a crew member, click the Patreon link to find out how. And keep current with our adventures by heading over to Big Easy Sailing's Instagram and Facebook pages. Thanks, y'all. Did you repeat that statement? I said you saved the day and you're a badass. Yeah!